writing about the growing fascination with Pinoy boys' love series that are oftentimes taken to mean as part of the long struggle of LGBTQI community against discrimination about the call for more inclusivity and gender equality. My paper now would like to look at the efficacy of these readings or meaning makings and how they fare with the pervasive culture of machismo in Philippine society. My approach will focus more on a close reading of selected Pinoy BL, namely Game Boy, Cello Stranger, Quiet Things, and prove that in as much as these BL series offer uh, safe space or creative appropriations, they are also enablers of the status quo of homophobia or heteronormativity. I argue that the same mechanism behind this fascination can be attributed to what Theodore Adorno would call the biphasic dissonance between the general attitudes of homophobia and specific behaviors of heteronormativity, which reinforces an atmosphere of social contentment and ultimately avoids a more crucial and critical solemn speculation about the state's role in our dire situation in this pandemic.